Welcome. This is Ivan from the A team, and this is our midterm finger puppet management presentation. Plot summary Super Manager to the Rescue. A television show about a Fortune 500 company that used to be on top of the financial field called Morgan and Bentley that has been in a steady decline since the recession in 2008 and brings in a super manager to ignite the company and bring it up to speed. Target audience and management concepts. Our management concepts include workforce management and motivation, recruiting, hiring, training, and retaining, diversification of workforce, creating a strong culture, performance evaluation and appraisal, conflict management, Reconstructing organization, innovation, adaptation, maintenance of changes set in place. Character profiles. Katarina is the new super manager hired by Morgan and Bentley. She was hired to bring in innovation into the company. Katarina is a strong, intelligent leader and can handle very uncomfortable business situations. She also has an unlimited source of information from connections she has made through her career. Her work techniques have been proven to work. Here we have Mr. Morgan, who has been the CEO of Morgan & Bentley for 25 years and running. He has used the same business mindset as the past CEOs of the company. Due to his stubbornness, it will make Katarina's job of transforming the company difficult. Tom, Bob, and Negative Nancy are all executive members. We have Tom, who strongly opposes Katerina and feels threatened by her. Bob is working alongside Tom and Nancy to bring Katerina down. He has worked for Morgan and Bentley for 15 years and doesn't want any major changes. Negative Nancy has been spreading gossip with Tom and Bob about Katerina. Nancy also looks down on the rest of her coworkers. Carl, Mary, and Fred are executive members that are continuously causing trouble during the hiring process. They don't have any uniform training, which causes them to have a strong opinion on the kind of employee Morgan and Bentley need to hire. Stacy, Alex, and Jason strongly follow the new rules and culture that have been brought into the new company. They are excellent examples of how well one can perform when following the company's mission, vision, and values. They will be promoted into the supervisory position during organizational centralization. So now we move on to episode summaries, starting from episode one. Episode one talks about how Katrina, the young super new manager, takes a huge role in the company as she interacts with Mr. Morgan, the CEO of the company. She discusses him about the company's future plans and her strategies in detail to build a strong culture among employees. Next is the storyboard for episode 1. This is the episode that we can clearly see that Katrina discusses with Mr. Morgan about the company's future ideas. So moving right along to episode 2, our topic is Katrina's major hurdles and how she implements her changes. This episode acts as Katarina's introduction to the rest of Morgan and Bentley and shows just how everyone reacts and the different dynamics between each of the employees. The management concepts that we get to observe in this episode are workforce management and motivation, creating strong culture, conflict management, and innovation adaptation. During episode two, Katarina decides to go undercover, much like undercover boss, so she can observe the employees and better understand what everyday business is like at Morgan and Bentley. After gathering all the necessary information, Mr. Morgan, who is the CEO of the company, gathers all the employees and announces that Katarina is joining their team as the new super manager. Not everyone is thrilled about this news, especially Tom, Bob, and Nancy, who were all very traditional in their view of how the company should operate. However, employees like Stacy, Alex, and Jason are supportive of Katarina's ideas and even reach out to her to give their own input on how to improve the company. As you can see here, we start the episode 2 storyboard with Katarina entering the company, acting as if she is just a guest touring 
when in fact she is observing the employees to better understand them and what needs to be improved in the company. Next slide, we see that Katarina is announcing who she is and what she's doing and that there are going to be a lot of changes implemented. And by the looks on people's faces, not everybody is happy about that. But we also see towards the end that some people are excited for the ideas being brought into the company and that new changes could be very good for Morgan and Bentley. For episode three, the topic is interviewing and planning for the future of Morgan and Bentley. The scenes include scenes at college and university campuses, job fairs, and a boardroom conducting interviews. The concepts used are recruiting, hiring, training, retaining, diversification of workforce, and conflict management. During episode three, Katarina begins her search for employees that bring a more youthful and technologically savvy perspective to the company. She has decided to use behavioral-based interviewing, or BBI, techniques for all new recruitment. This technique includes asking questions to learn about how an individual has handled certain situations in the past. Katarina works in collaboration with Human Resources, Tom, Mary, and Alex to bring in talented individuals to interview for a marketing manager position. While Alex proves to be helpful during the hiring process, Tom and Mary decide to sabotage the interviews. Through a series of unprofessional questions, we get to see a candidate named Shauna deal with Tom and Mary while while struggling to remain composed throughout her interview. As we see here with the episode 3 storyboard, we start the episode with Katarina addressing Tom, Mary, and Alex on how we're going to interview the new candidates for the marketing manager position. And uh, Mary obviously has a little bit of an attitude towards it and decides that she is going to sabotage the interview with Tom. Next, we see Katarina waiting for the students to come for the interview, and following that, we see a chaotic event with Alex struggling to remain professional through the questions while Mary and Tom are just having an onslaught of unprofessional questions. The Group Progress Report. During the first week, our group came together seamlessly, and we immediately started our assigned work. Communication has been extremely fluent in our group, the A-Team. We use multiple platforms, mainly through the GroupMe app for instant messaging, but then we also text, call, email, and Google Hangout with each other. All of our team assignments have been completed, with each of us contributing equally through Google Docs and Google Drive. Ali Luft initiated how our team was going to communicate and set up calendars as well to ensure the A-team could meet weekly via online. She has prepared each week's outline through Google Docs, Google Drive, and PowerPoint to make sure the rest of the team could seamlessly work on their respective parts. In the third week, Ali assisted with the voiceovers and editing of the PowerPoint presentation. Savannah Hollis was the first to complete her TV scenario in week one setting the pace for all of us to follow. She is working and living out of Jacksonville and has been willing to make the drive if needed to assist with any production or work that needed to be done in our group efforts. Savannah each week has participated in all tasks that has been assigned and has helped immensely with the plot of our TV storyline and future episodes. In week three, Savannah assisted with the voiceovers and editing of the PowerPoint presentation. Ivan Garcia has been a vital part with the technical support for our team. He has carefully produced and edited our group's design challenges. Ivan's input has been a key part to each member's success thus far. Even though Ivan started class late, he immediately made a huge impact right off the bat with his ingenuity to involve the people around him as a resource to make the best design challenges for our team. In week three, Ivan then produced the A-team's voiceovers and edited the PowerPoint presentation. Majid al Hartai did a great job in week one with a solid storyline idea that would have involved an international business scheme behind it. In week three, Majid got the grasp of our fast-paced class and produced our storyboards and writing of several scenes. 
Majid also assisted with the voiceovers and editing of the PowerPoint presentation. Stephen Garcia is the creator of the original story idea. His deep knowledge and experience of management provided quality story filled with uncountable management topics. In week two, he wrote a major part of the additional detail for each episode needed for the TV show finalization. Stephen contributed to the forward progress being made by guiding each member through their concerns and questions. And in week three, he assisted with writing content for the PowerPoint as well as the voiceovers. Our future plans. The A-Team plans on continuing our success by being proactive and working ahead using the syllabus as our roadmap. Our future plans are concentrated on timely completion of each assignment as well as a detailed development of our story. The team will learn from each step of the show not only the material covered in the textbook but also valuable teamwork skills needed for most of our future prospective career fields. This is why we plan on holding each other accountable to learn how to effectively communicate our issues and work as a one. Our strategy is to find strengths of each individual, divide work tasks accordingly, and use it to our advantage. We are the A-Team. We plan to succeed. And this is the end to our midterm presentation, and thank you for your attention.